Good afternoon, dear colleagues, partners, investors, project participants, everyone interested. Good afternoon to everyone who is interested in this project and cares about it, and all those who are annoyed by this project, infuriated about it, and all those who see this project as an enemy and opponent, so everyone in fact. You and I are all together today and still interested in this project, each of us with his or her own purpose. But our main goal is to achieve results. Now, behind my back, you can see a kind of tunnel. If earlier you looked at this building as being a small one, now the actual amount of work done is visible by this tunnel behind my back. Well, as in any tunnel, when a pessimist looks into the tunnel and sees darkness, and an optimist looks into the tunnel and sees light at the end of the tunnel, here it is, there is light. Then a realist sees light at the end of the tunnel and sees that the locomotive is coming. Fortunately, we do not have a railway here. This is not a railway tunnel. This is a building that we are constructing as part of the project. And you can see perfectly well how this building has grown in one and a half months. On May 25th, the time capsule was buried here. And on June 8th, the first column was erected and installed here. Today is July 23rd. Look at what's around. How much everything has changed. What a crazy scale of work has been completed. And all this has been done thanks to all the project participants. Some of them invest, the others do and organize things. There are also those who support the project. The rest take part in the discussion of the project in the media space. Everyone pulls their weight, but nevertheless, the crowd project is progressing and doing so at a good pace. And the guys from the film crew will later take footage and show how many axes are left to mount and how many have already been mounted. All this will be shown from the quadcopter. The picture is already beautiful and interesting. The business is in progress, not without flaws, not without problems. It's construction and it's work, and nothing can be perfect, but nevertheless, it's in progress. Our task now is to make sure that by the hidden season we close this entire circuit with a roof and supply it with heat and electricity. If you look in the direction of my view, this is the warehouse. You can see that a little more and there won't be anything left in the warehouse. Now the crane is here, it's reloading the metal structures and transferring them to the place where the installation is underway. The installation work will be shown to you separately. And now we will proceed to take a look at the design of the concrete well structures and their purpose, because now there are basement panels in front of me, behind the operator's backs. It is already clearly visible where the entrance will be, where the doors and windows, as well as the gates will be. From above you can see the mechanisms of the roll-up gate that is going up, right above the operator's heads. Here you can see already the ceilings. There will be some questions and claims. They will be eliminated. And as soon as they are eliminated, first of all the ceiling between the first and second floor will be cast. Before that, the defects will be eliminated. Then the reinforcement will be placed and then it will be cast. The reinforcement has already been delivered and we can see that a new shipment has been brought in and it's all going to be used here. 
Let's go watch. If we approach closer... We can see that this is a staircase shaft. We can see the doorway, we can see the window opening that will go through the structure. Now the formwork is going to be prepared to be installed at the top. If we turn around to the other side and look, you can see there, right opposite me, exactly the same elevator or shaft well. There are also two elevator shafts and a stairwell. The formwork is also being done now. And then the next level will be cast. I would like to show you another remarkable place. This is where you and me are going to focus our attention. This is where the waterproofing of the concrete foundation is being performed. There will be utilities for power equipment on this site, and there will still be more similar constructions. We can see that the preparations are already underway, so that we can make connections for water, electricity and heat supply. This equipment will be located in these extensions. And similar work will be carried out on several sites in the next similar extensions. The doorways have been made. Here you can see the openings for the equipment supply. Let's move on. Here you can see that the backfill is being done in layers. It is going up and you can see that it will soon reach the planned marks. You can feel that the building is beginning to take shape. Not only its contours can be seen, but it is already beginning to acquire definite finished outlines. If you turn around and do a 3060 degree view, you can see that the building contours are entirely there. You can see that the building enclosures are prepared for installation. The profiles and windows are getting outlined. You can see them from several sides. Here, on the contrary, we can see that one module ends and there is a gap. That's seven columns, six flights, and similarly, seven more columns for the flight. Two flights of metal structures have been assembled, and now the profile sheets are being fed upwards to be laid. Now we're going to this place, and we can see that the shaft is being assembled. The formwork for this shaft, the scaffolding is being lined up around the formwork, the grain is operating, it is putting down the formwork. The next tier for pouring concrete will be made and it will already extend out and cross the next floor. 
as soon as the shaft is finished, the installation of various openings and landings will start. Now it is clear that all the metal structures that were outside the building are now deep inside. They are assembled in the middle. Take a look. There is another flight of stairs behind me. It borders the industrial part and then the office and amenity building starts behind it. The Astron company plans, if nothing interferes, to finish the installation of the building frame on August 15th. Counting from today, it's almost 25 days of work, and we should be able to see the complete frame of the building. Some people did not believe in it, while others were sure, just like us, that it would happen. This day will come, and the next serious stage of work will begin after it. It will be preceded by the stage that includes casting the first interfloor construction. It's going to be very interesting, we are looking forward to seeing when it happens. Then there will be a very interesting stage when the workers begin to mount the enclosing structures and ceilings. This will be the most exciting moment that I'm looking forward to very much. Thank you all. Have a good weekend. Follow the project. And now you will see the footage of what has been built and how much is left to be done. If you watch the videos about the previous days of the construction process, you will be able to compare what it was like, how it started and how much work is left. Thank you again.